Robin, what turned out to be a disappointing afternoon at Tanadice today? Got off to a fantastic start, but a kind of 10 minute period in the second half took the game away from the team. Yeah, absolutely. I think the quick goal uh, gave us a lot of energy. So I think the, the passion and the desire of the players in the first half was uh, was amazing. Uh, I think the the the, the moments where um, Dundee tried to get dangerous. I think we had bodies in the box. We had bodies around the crosses. So I think we uh, we did well in the first half, um, especially in putting our heart and soul on the pitch. I think. Football was a little, little bit uncontrolled, a little bit too direct, uh, so we need to get some more composure. But uh, to start with, happy with, uh, with the reaction uh, to start the game and also with the energy in the game. And I think the second half, I think the first 10 to 12 minutes, you know, we just give it away in uh, box defending, in um, stopping crosses, but also body contact in the box. And uh, uh, so last week it was against counter-attacks and now today it's about box defending and um, yeah, these are really hard lessons because I think it's unnecessary against a good Dundee because this is the best team in the league so far I've seen uh, but still unnecessary goals where we have to be disciplined and we have to stay to the structure and uh, responsibilities you get. Is it uh, frustrating for you as a coach that the number of crosses Dundee United got into the box? Yeah, especially when you see the emphasis we had uh, in training sessions on stopping crosses but also defending crosses but uh, no, you, you can't stop every cross so um, there will be moments that you need to have body contact in the box or uh, awareness in the box to how to defend and uh, today was uh, was just not good enough in, uh, in in that part of the game. You made a couple of changes beforehand, Callum Ferry came back in goals, Alex Bannon played at centre defence, what was your thinking behind? Um, so obvious Dundee was an, uh, as an in possession team so we expected them to get to come in with some crosses. Uh, the experience in this situation for us with Cal is that he's experienced in the league but also a good shot stopper. Um, so uh, in that case I think uh, looking at this game it was a, a fair choice to go for Cal. Uh, and Alex is proving himself in training sessions. He's a, he's a real defender. Uh, I think he still has some steps to take in, in possession but I think uh, even today he was uh, he was doing a great job as a right centre half. Do you feel less disappointed today than their game? Um, I always am disappointed when we lose, of course. So uh, this is a tough month. Um, but I think the positives to take are bigger than the games from uh, from last week. Um, but still, the things we emphasised on in training sessions, uh, they came back in how they how Dundee scored the goal. So that's that's painful in. Uh, all the analysing work, all the training sessions we prepared, all the individual talks we have with the players and then it still happens. So um, um, yeah, we have to look in the mirror as a staff if we did well, uh, but also the players need to uh, take responsibility for what we uh, are trying to build. Uh, and it's not only in possession, it's also defending and uh, uh, that's the next step we, uh, we have to step in. So we have a disappointing 24 hours and then we start building for Morton. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Robin, thank okay. you.